Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. I get a call from my mother telling me about a young man who was killed not far from my street. She said she was heartbroken over the news. She's just glad that it wasn't me. There's so much to lose and so little to gain in these streets to feel with heartache and pain. Sometimes I question myself if we're really following Martin's theme with all these young black males having dope boy dreams. Finding any way to come up with negative schemes. Slowly but surely we learn everything in life ain't what it seems. It's hard to survive. And yeah, we all struggle and strive. But just be thankful that you're alive and through the midst of it all, you can always be revived. See, we're all products of our environment, but really is, is no man's land. Everybody needs saving. There's just a few out there with a helping hand. See, it's a beautiful world, but it's controlled by the cold-hearted and the corrupted. Cultivating a plan to guarantee our own self-destruction. They say follow your heart and ignorance is bliss. But we live in a world where dollars seem to make the most sense. Because money rules the world, and that alone controls are being put on the shelves, making us hate on each other instead of being content with ourselves. Now don't get me wrong, get the money, and do it with pride, but just know money can never change how you feel inside or take the place in your heart where God resides. See, everything glorifies all child's play. You can have the cars, clothes, and even the hoes, but that won't help you find your way. It seems like to me we're all stuck in the same mind frame, and then have the nerve to wonder why these females out here playing mind games. Because it seems like to me they're the ones who get the shortage of the stick giving the impression that a black man is the problem that can't be fixed. That's why they have no problem saying niggas ain't shit. It hurts me deep inside to see these young girls who feel like their mind won't take them as far as the distance, and only that a pretty face and a big ass make them sufficient. I guess in the end, we're all looking for some type of solution. Don't want to take the time to solve the problem, so we accept the illusion. But I never take heed in what's being perceived, because deep down in my heart, I believe no matter your color or race, we're all human beings. I hope and pray that one day we can all take the time to understand each other fully. That way you don't have to hear about a young black male getting killed over a bag of Skittles and wearing a hoodie. At the end of the day, I believe we'll all make it in due time. I'm just giving you a little insight of a virtuous mind. Peace and love, y'all.